the OnePlus 9 has finally been revealed and I'll be sharing the details right after this. If you're new here and want to stay up to date with the latest tech, please hit subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter by clicking the links in the description. So this week we've got plenty of leaks for the OnePlus 9 5G, we've got plenty of live photos along with key specs leaked for the upcoming flagship. Before we get started though, please like the video if you're a fan of OnePlus and let me know in the comments what country you're watching today's video from. So today we've actually got two sets of live images to cover for the upcoming OnePlus 9 and it looks incredible. The first set of live photos were leaked a couple of days ago and they give us multiple shots of a pre-production unit of the OnePlus 9 5G along with the specs. The first set of photos were leaked by Joshua Swingle of Phone Arena and they were sent in by an anonymous source and provide a good look at the phone as well as the hardware. The first shot of the rear of the device shows us a triple camera setup along with an LED flash and as you can see they've branded the new camera system ultra shot of course the back logo is not the oneplus logo and this is just because it was a prototype and according to phone arena they create dedicated logos for each prototype overall though it's looking exactly as we expected the only details that phone arena couldn't uncover for us was the camera specs but next up we've got a clear shot of the front of the oneplus 9 5g which shows us the full screen display with a punch hole selfie camera in the top left and it looks very similar to the 8T. The report confirms that the OnePlus 9 5G has a 6.55 inch display with a Full HD Plus resolution of 2400 by 1080 and a 120 hz refresh rate and the aspect ratio is also 20 by 9. We've got more shots from different angles and the OnePlus 9 seems to show a metal frame which is believed to be aluminium. The OnePlus 9 has the SIM tray, speakers and USB port at the bottom and on top we've just got the microphone. The SIM tray also appears to have a rubber seal and this is showing us that, that again OnePlus are making the lower models water resistant but they won't be providing official IP ratings apart from on the Pro. We've got the volume rocker on the left hand side then over on the right we've got the power button and the alert slider. Phone Arena also provided several screenshots taken from the device and it shows us it's got 8GB of RAM with 128 internal storage. They also confirm that there's going to be no micro SD support but this was always expected. It's running Oxygen OS based on Android 11, it's got a 4500mAh battery and while there were cameras on this prototype they're not believed to be the same that we're going to find in the retail models. We then had higher quality images of the OnePlus 9 5G and these were leaked by Digital Trends and they don't have any watermarks. They give us another good look at the front and the rear of the OnePlus 9 5G. We're not sure if they came from the same source but it looks to be the exact same prototype with the same logo placeholder on the back and again this is for the standard OnePlus 9 and not for the OnePlus 9 Pro but given the way these leaks are coming in at the moment it's probably not long until we get the full hands on video. The OnePlus 9 is reported coming in March 21 and we already have plenty of details on the design and the specs of both models. For those interested we're going to run through them now to help you guys decide if this is the right smartphone for you. Now for my regular viewers you guys would have already seen this so just jump to the next video but if you are new here then don't forget to hit subscribe and we'll get right into it. So to start with we have the standard OnePlus 9. The only leak we've had for the standard OnePlus 9 shows a full screen display with the punch hole selfie camera and it's a 6.5 inch 120Hz fluid AMOLED display but one thing we haven't had confirmed yet is if it's going to be a Full HD Plus or Quad HD Plus. It's going to have HDR10 support and it's expected to be protected by Gorilla Glass 5 with the in-display fingerprint scanner. On the back we're reportedly getting a quad camera setup with two 48 megapixel sensors along with an 8 and a 5. The phone is going to be powered by the latest Snapdragon 888 and we're expecting a choice of 8 or 12 gigs of RAM and if the latest leak is correct then we could also see up to 512 gig storage. We're expecting roughly a 4600 milliamp hour battery on the OnePlus 9 and reports are suggesting we could get a 65 watt fast warp charge along with 30 watt wireless charging. It's going to ship with the latest Oxygen OS based on Android 11 but we're yet to find out if it's going to be IP68 water resistant. No pricing information has been leaked on the standard OnePlus 9 but we're expecting to start around $750 to $800. 
Next up, we've got the OnePlus 9 Pro. Now, rumors are stating that the OnePlus 9 Pro is going to come with a 6.8 inch, 120 hertz fluid AMOLED display with a Quad HD Plus resolution. Again, we get HDR10 support protected by at least Gorilla Glass 5 and the in display fingerprint scanner. We've got a punch hole selfie camera in the top left of the display, and many were hoping for another pop out selfie camera, but all the leaks are suggesting another punch hole. On the rear of the OnePlus 9 Pro, we're expecting a quad camera setup with two main lenses and an additional two sensors. Rumors are suggesting that on the Pro, we'll be seeing an upgrade to 64 megapixel sensors, so it could be a 64 plus 64 plus 8 plus 5 setup on the OnePlus 9 Pro. The phone's going to be powered by the latest Snapdragon 888, and we're expecting a choice of 8 or 12 gigs of RAM. If the latest leak is correct, then of course, we'll definitely be seeing 512 storage on the Pro. We're expecting a 4800 mAh battery on the OnePlus 9 Pro, and reports are suggesting 65 watt warp charge with 30 watt wireless charging. It's again going to ship with the latest Oxygen OS based on Android 11, and the OnePlus 9 Pro is very likely to be IP68 water resistant. Resistant. With no pricing information leaked yet, we can only go on estimates and we're expecting the OnePlus 9 Pro to start around $950 to $1000. So still, a lot of information is missing on both models, but as soon as we hear anything, I'll be updating you guys straight away. Many manufacturers are bringing their releases forward next year and we have news that the OnePlus 9 series may actually be doing the same and they'll be changing their launch from April to March. Of course, as soon as we get some more solid information, I'll be sharing it with you guys straight away but as always i'd like to know your thoughts in the comments who out there is excited for the oneplus 9 and which model are you waiting for but thanks for watching the video if you liked it smash a thumbs up if you didn't hit the thumbs down twice and i'll see you guys in the next one